Armando Bailey. Citadel. Bailey was somebody Cerberus was investigating into recruiting in one of the mission reports. Here, all he's doing is just staring at a tower and, um, rather morosely, I may add. I'm not sure if his, uh, kid was killed in the raid by Sovereign at the end of the first Mass Effect. David Anderson, Citadel. Here we have something curious. This is, um, Anderson. Your old commanding officer from the first Mass Effect meeting with Cerberus. Not really sure what the fuck is going on. I know he's had interactions with Cerberus, um, such as depicted in the Retribution book, but I don't know what the hell that's up about. Praetor Gavon, Omega. And here we have Praetor Gavin kicking ass, as somebody named Praetor Gavin should. That is a name made for ass kicking, and he is living up to it. He is living up to Garrus's. <laughs> he is living up to Garrus's badass reputation. Here we have a reporter who has appeared in the first and second games, who always seems to want to do a smear job on you, and one of the uh, options is to slug her in the face, and it's uh, undergone rapid m mimetic bleh, mutation. Here we see her pissing off a Krogan, and here we see the inevitable results of that. Oh, will she ever learn? Keeper 20, Citadel. I am not sure what the fuck is going on here. Uh, I, it's been mentioned in dialogue that there are a bunch of kids who are crawling around in the ducts in, um, the, uh, throughout the Citadel, and occasionally they find one who is dead. So, I don't know what the hell is that. I think that's like a dead duct kid or something. I don't know. It's really fucking depressing to look at, so we're going to change. Matriarch Atheta, this is the bartender of Eternity? Is that what it's called? There's a bar on Ilium, and this is the bartender, and over there is what looks suspiciously like a picture of Liara. Now, remember, Liara is a pureblood. And uh, the Shadow Broker did say he knew all of her secrets. Purebloods are looked upon... As, uh, there is, it, it, to be a pureblood Asari, to have, to be an Asari with two Asari parents bears a certain social stigma among their species. And the Shadow Booker did say he knew all of her dark secrets, and here we have video of Athita looking at a picture which looks vaguely like the, like Liara. So it's vaguely implied that Athita is, um, the other parent. And, uh, you off her mother, uh, Benezia, in the first Mass Effect. Not <laughs> uh, here we are on the Krogan homeworld, and here is a very unfortunate Solarian... And it's so morbid, it's hilarious. Elias Kellum, Omega. Elias Kellum is a crooked... I don't know if he was a politician or a crime lord, who hired a, um... who hired Thane's son to assassinate a uh, public figure for him. Thane's loyalty mission deals with you finding, uh said finding his son and preventing him from committing that murder so Elias Kellum is left with a public figure in office that he doesn't want in office so here we see his solution to that problem <laughs> you want a job done right Jacob Taylor Normandy SR2 and here we see Jacob doing a goddamn unnatural amount of crunches. The dude does, does like 300 a day. Subject zero, purgatory. Ship now defunct. Here we have another party member, and this is a flashback to an earlier point in the plot, where you have liberated her from a prison ship, and she is in the middle of escaping and leaving a goddamn huge amount of bodies behind her. And there we saw her doing a biotic backflip and kick.
killing a bunch of dudes. And uh, that's all that uh, that's there. That's all the ones I've seen. Supposedly there are more. And it says to check back, and I've done that, but um, fuck knows if there are more because I haven't seen them. So should I talk to Farron? I might as well, just for completion's sake. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I'm always I right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. How are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... I'm going to Disneyland. Getting full, sir. Let me sink it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor, not a slaver. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI. Custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds. But it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. <laughs> How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. They knew each other for like a day. Better than I deserve. Take it easy, Farron. Thanks. And he's just gonna sit there and slack. Seriously, that's all he does. He just sits there. Never gets anything useful done. I mean, at least look busy, Jesus. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. Yeah, careful with that. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. Creepy. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. Hopefully. You know, relatively speaking. <laughs> Even Shepard's like, eh, I don't know. If you're in over your head, you could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Creepy. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about... Organizing, cataloging. You're an archaeologist. Shepherd. This is a dream job. Although the location could be better. Location's awesome. Your attitude just sucks. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. 
He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Brokers seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. I'm going to go with the second one, because the Protheans had other plans. They sure as hell didn't do them any good. How did you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his money. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. Was there a no there? Because I didn't see one. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship, maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. How about now? That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Yeah, because there's no problem with letting a black market information dealer on the most advanced ship in the galaxy. What could possibly go wrong?